everybody welcome back to the review preview my name is sean clark and uh today we got shane hamstra in the makeshift studio of my office today yeah oh, that was a really abrupt music ending i don't know what just happened there but, i think uh, it's i think <laughs> when i made the original recording it just i didn't fade it out or i did something wrong anyway oh, and i good. never went back and fixed it but that's fine but uh we're this is the first time ever the review preview has not only been heard, but now it's being seen. <laughs> yeah. You know? So you know, it's only a few steps from now until we're live. So. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I mean, these are all just one takes. That's what I always tell people. If you ever join the review preview, it's yeah. just there's no mistakes. You're no. just we're just go full steam ahead. Yeah. Because I don't have time to prepare and I don't uh, have time to edit and change. So yeah. So yeah, we could do this live. We just gotta hook up. We gotta click more buttons or something. Yeah, I have no idea how to. Yeah, click the buttons. That's about how I understand it. Just click it. the buttons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, we're we're recording this and um, uh, with video just because it's just kind of fun every once in a while to see, kind of behind the scenes like yeah. something happened, right? Another yeah. touch point with our people. With the 13 people that might listen. Yeah, exactly. And maybe a few people who will watch on YouTube or Facebook. Right. You know? now, so. now they're going to be like, if they didn't have Apple Podcasts or Spotify, they, they do have access to the, the tube tube, YouTube. Yeah. So like yeah. they're, they're, maybe they watch the video. Yeah. We're like up in our game. No one has any more excuses for why they don't watch the review preview right. every single week. Wait a minute. All the way through. Chances are there could be someone who is impaired with sight. Hmm. They, well, they would can have a, still hear it. Well, they, okay, we they already have. We already established that. Now we're taking care of the people who are deaf. There you go. We can read our lips. Wasn't Helen Keller blind and deaf? Yeah. So That's what was her struggle. teacher's name? I don't remember. I saw the play at the Claire where they like. They, yeah. On so to, like, in the Braille thing. I'm not trying yeah. to be lighthearted. No. Maybe we'll get into you know yeah. the Braille thing. I yeah. don't know. But anyway. So welcome to the review preview. Yeah, yeah. We got to give something to like give a good catchy title. So, right. So yeah. We start off yeah. with that. So. All right. Um, anyway. <laughs> well, what a great um, opportunity for us to uh, review what we did last Sunday. Last Sunday was yeah. a big day. Uh, Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. Kind so, of a big day. Yeah. Kind of a big day. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we just had someone stop in the office and, uh, you know, said, you know, how chaotic the world is and it's scary. And I agree, mm -hmm. like the world is crazy. It's always been scary. There's always been tribulation. Jesus said there would always be that. But I, my first thought was like, yeah, but he rose from the grave, right? Yeah. So, oh, my, my computer just reminded me of oh. something. Oh. It's noon. Perfect. It's noon on oh, Thursday. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so he rose from the grave, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to celebrate that with a whole bunch of people at our church on Sunday. Yeah. Well, and it was like the culmination of the three messages where we'd, we'd been building up Jesus as prophet, priest, and king. Yeah. You know, like, now here's how they come together. Yeah. And then you kind of built it up, too, where, like, none of these things that the, the priests were doing before, like, actually took away the sins, but yeah. Jesus does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and that's the thing, is it, it was kind of like a, like a four-week mini-series. You accused me of being a topical preacher yesterday. <laughs> yeah. We're just going off the rails. Here I know, at CC. right, right. No, um, but yeah, so a little four week mini series on these different um, uh, offices that Jesus fulfilled. Uh, these, these offices of prophet, priest, and king were given to the nation of Israel in the Old Testament to help their nation work rightly um, and relate with God as, you know, kind of like a theocracy, like God is their king. So. They needed prophets, priests, and kings. They needed prophets, people to tell them what God was saying. They needed priests to intercede and act as intermediaries between a holy God and sinful people. And they needed a, a, a physical king to represent the the real king of kings. And uh, and so Jesus shows up and he fulfills all those roles. Uh, he assumes all those roles and fulfills them uh, in an ultimate way. So it was kind of fun to recap the whole series. And then yeah. none of it really matters, though, if he doesn't rise from the grave. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that, that was kind of the point is like, and you know, we, I joked with the congregation last week that it was kind of a cliffhanger of a week because we left Jesus, you know, with his corpse in a cold, you know, a tomb, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, but obviously resurrection Sunday, he, he consoles his, uh, well, the, the, Mary is consoled by an angel, you know, that he's risen, come see the place where he lay. And then the first words that you hear Jesus speak really 
um, to the gathered group of disciples is that all authority has been given to him, mm-hmm. even over death. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. This is somebody to listen to. Yeah. It's like yeah. no one else can do that. It's what separates Jesus from yeah. any other uh, supposed prophet. Or right, yeah. right, yeah. So that in that way, Jesus has become the final because he's he's fulfilled those roles ultimately and with a finality, and he's assumed them continually and perpetually. So yeah, yeah. Let's just go to him. Excellent. Yeah. You're adjusting your windscreen now. Yeah. See well, now now people are going to see. All I know the, it's really awkward. They're going to say like, yeah. what, what's wrong with the mic? Right? I'm just going to switch over to this angle here so no <laughs> one can see me. Right. <laughs> um. So yeah, I, I think I think it was a good Sunday, right? Yeah. We had and good job on putting the little Faith Community Church preschool video together. Oh, with that was so walking through the the Easter story. Yeah, yeah. they did such a good job. It was, right. That was so cool. Well, I told you I th- I, what I liked about it was like it was fun and cute and filled with truth. Mm-hmm. So I was like, man, it hits every category yeah. with what you want on Resurrection yeah. Sunday. doesn't um, get any better than that. We So we, we kind of built the service around, um, we had the, the choir, you know, involved, which was awesome. They, yeah. did, they did a fantastic job in leading yeah. the congregation. And, uh, but some of it was built around these massive questions that needed to be answered is what we said. So that song, Christ, Our Hope in Life and Death was, you know, a series of questions that are just when you, when you actually, if you'd actually stop and not sing them, but just read the questions like, well, that's a massive question. You know, what's our hope in life and death? Well, we better know an answer to that question, right? Um, or what truth can calm a troubled soul? We better know the answer to that question. Yeah. And uh, so a whole series of them, but they're all answered in Christ. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. No, that's not that. Was, yeah. There was a lot of good uh, connecting points there you, from all of them. You have a notebook. I, did you write anything down that you I, thought was cool or no? I did. I wrote down Jesus as the gardener. You pointed that out in Mark, that Jesus comes back. Um, mm. Like you have the first Adam and then you have Jesus as the second Adam. Okay. Yeah. And is it Mary? I think it is that mistakes Jesus as the gardener. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Kind of why do you look him? Why do you look? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's cool. Um, but that's a complicated thing. I don't mean need to no, go no, off no, on no, a tangent. No, yeah. I'm trying but, to think about back through that, but... Um, there is a... Uh, I think we talked about that, or did, did I fill that in with my own head? I don't know. Maybe I heard that somewhere else, and I just... I don't... I can't remember. There. Yeah. You, you know, it can. It kind of... The days come and go, yep. and then you just you keep going forward. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but what I do know is the way we ended the service, which was kind of cool, because it was the, the, the last massive question that needs to be answered by all of us, um, because that's within, in John 11... And Mary is weeping hmm. and Jesus says to her a simple statement, you know, I'm the resurrection of life. If you believe in me, yet he dies, you know, though he lived like the, whatever he says, I butchered the quote, but um, here's the, that's the simple statement, but here's the question. He says, do you believe this? Hmm. Like, that's what we all need to answer. Do you believe that yeah. about Jesus rising from the grave? Because mm-hmm. Depending on how you answer that, there is no hope for you. There's no way to calm your troubled soul, right? Unless you know that the ultimate enemy has been defeated by Jesus on your behalf. So, and it ultimately comes down to that choice. It's like that we all have as Christians. Yeah. You you can uh, yeah. read uh, you read your Bible so much, and you can listen to so many sermons. But at some point, you got to make a choice. Am I gonna? Um, apply this to my life and let this let the spirit work in that way or yeah. am i gonna say no thank you there you go so that's the question yeah. this posed to all of us do you believe this yeah i love it jesus is awesome yeah. um understatement then <laughs> so then let's preview what we're gonna do on sunday yeah. sunday is i mean resurrection sunday it's the the climax and actually every sunday is a kind of a, a reminding ourselves of what happens it's the lord's day but we have baptism sunday yeah this week. And so, um, we're actually going to be going through the two ordinances of the Lord Jesus Christ, which would be the baptism that he prescribed for his followers to, um, to submit to, and then also the Lord's supper. So we got both of them this week. So we're going to talk a lot about that in our sermon time. We're going to see, uh, three, maybe four individuals proclaim their, uh, identification with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus through baptism. And, um, yeah, Lord's Supper. So anything yeah. that you're excited about? Uh, it's just cool to see how God is working in this church. Uh, uh-huh. It's so cool to see people every time we do baptism Sundays. There's, there's people ready to get baptized. There's new members ready to come in. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super cool. It is super cool. And I know that there's a lot. Some people said that they invited uh, their their teachers that are going to come and mm-hmm. people that have supported them and 
classmates. So that's really awesome. Yeah. Um, and family members. So it's gonna, it's gonna be good. And it's a uh, reminder, a reminder for us to look out for people who we don't recognize and give them yeah. a handshake, say hi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Um, and then we're actually during the message time, we're going to play a game. So that's gonna be fun. During the message, I'm gonna I'm going to Are you allowed to do that? I'm going to. Okay. We'll see. I'll take the liberty to do so. It's with <laughs> a purpose and intention behind it. But yeah. we're gonna play a game. So that'd be kind of fun. And then um Elder Scott Painter is gonna be leading us during the equipping hour for a, a corporate prayer time. Yeah. Uh which once again, um I invite all of our people to come to, you know, as we speak to the Father, you know, on behalf of each other, you know, for yeah. needs of our church. So We'd love to have you come out for that. Yeah. So every every church that's that is going to grow and needs prayer. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. Yeah. Anything else that you can think of that you want to say? Uh, not just not really. Not really. Know. Yeah. Dude, you are like I want to say, you take on a ton of stuff. <laughs> so we appreciate you around here, and like, there's multiple cameras and all that stuff. This is all your brainchild. So this and then. My- and then you actually pull it off too. So that <laughs> it takes is time. my pleasure. Though. Okay, man. Yeah. So, well, thanks for, for listening to the podcast. Thanks for watching the podcast for the first time ever. I don't know what camera to look at. Yeah. One of them. I'm oh, shaded. We'll see you at some point. <laughs> anyway. All right. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you all on Sunday. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.